First off, I would just like to make it clear that I'm not very good at these kinds of games. But I decided to check out Hellish Quartz anyway because historical sword fighting is just very interesting. I guess it goes without saying that the rapier is a very effective dual weapon, and facing off against somebody wielding it, using any other sword in this game, places us in a bit of a disadvantage. This is exactly what happened to me the first time I tried fighting a fencer using a character armed with a saber. Since the game is closely based on realistic combat, I wanted to see if there are real-life footages out there that I can reference, and maybe find a way to close the gap a little bit. Thankfully, I found a couple of YouTube videos that demonstrate duels between HEMA practitioners, pitting the rapier against a saber and longsword. I will leave a link to these videos and their corresponding channels down in the description so you can take a look. Based on my observation, it seems like closing the distance while keeping the point of the blade forward and fighting aggressively afterwards is a viable strategy as seen in these examples. Which does make sense considering that reach is the primary advantage of that kind of weapon. It's of course not 100% guarantee. We certainly can get poked on our way in, and the opponent would most likely be aware of that strategy and might try to maintain the distance as shown here. Or the exchange might result in a double, a common occurrence where both players get hit. But it's certainly a better plan than facing it head on at a dangerous range, which would result to this. Naturally, the combatant's skill also play a major role to the outcome of a fight. Check out these two awesome counters. I did the point. Huh? I did. Yep. Pretty cool, right? This feature is also available in the game, but just like in real life, they're not easy to do. It's an advanced move that I haven't pulled off yet. Anyway, with that said, I present to you this gameplay of mine where I applied our found strategy and won for the first time against Marta, a formidable opponent even though it's computer controlled. I used Kalkstein who's usually armed with a 16th century basket hill broadsword, but for some reason wields a different one in this mode. By the way, in the wooden type of weapons, Kalkstein's sword literally has a basket for a hilt. Not sure if that's an inside joke, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. If you're playing on PC and you have 8 bucks to spare, give this game a shot. I think you'll like it if you're into this kind of thing. You'll be supporting the mostly one-person developer whose passion for this project is easily visible. The game has made a lot of progress so far, certainly a lot better from when I first checked it out. But there's still a lot of work to be done, including a first-person perspective mode. Hmm, very interesting, isn't it? Okay, on with the match.
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.